Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I'm going to tell you to take a break. Your health is more important than grinding out two or three more hours a day. When you look at certain people's YouTubes or certain people's Facebooks or certain people's Instagrams, it seems like they're hustling 24-7. And you're like, hey, yo, I kind of need to sleep. Look, I get sleeping. Matter of fact, I love sleeping. Sleeping is awesome. However, what's not awesome is burnout. And if you emulate those people who are saying that you gotta hustle 24 seven, you're gonna end up crashed. It's not a matter of if you're going to burn out, it's a matter of when. The craziest thing about burnout is this. Generally, people still show up when they're burnt out. As a matter of fact, you can be burnt out for days or weeks before you even realize it. The scariest part is it messes with your emotions. So when I'm burnt out, everything becomes a problem. When I'm burnt out, I don't know how to prioritize. When I'm burnt out, I don't have the energy to think of creative ideas, so I get frustrated. When I'm burnt out, any little thing becomes an, a, a fire because I'm angry because I, I, can't, I can't turn over. It's like the starter is missing from my internal car. Why is grinding a form of hiding? You might be surprised and say, hey, I'm showing up. What do you mean I'm hiding? Well, the thing about it is, when you're grinding so much, you're pulling away from doing the quiet, tough, fearful work of being vulnerable and being open. When you have time to think, you have time to think of real problems things that aren't going to be solved by uh, showing up or things that aren't gonna be solved by throwing more manpower into it. You get to think about more strategic things, which generally is scarier. You don't have to worry about things going wrong when you keep hitting that nail with the hammer and showing up at nine o'clock every day. Breaks give you a time to think about the big picture. If you keep grinding, you never will. Why should you schedule your breaks in advance? If you're anything like me, you need to schedule your breaks in advance. The reason is that when you're doing work that matters and interesting, you, you'll work on it forever. As I told you, I used to love working on things forever and ever and ever until that burnout happened and now I'm taking away. So what saves me now and what saved me then is setting up vacations once a quarter or once every six months or having a dedicated time to get out and, and get a break because when you have it scheduled, your mind is already working towards that break and you don't have to think about when is it gonna happen. When you're living in the moment, it'll never be the right time. But if you've already made it the right time, then it's going to be the right time. Can you make many breaks and big breaks? Not only can you, I think you really should. You should have a vacation set up months in advance, but you should also have breaks during the week that give you time to unplug and think about the picture in that frame. So what I mean by that is, if you're working six days a week, then you should probably have a day of rest. You should have a Sunday where you can just read some interesting articles or unplug your phone or go out and have coffee with a friend. And if you do have those days, make it very sacred. Cut off everything. Don't even answer the phone if you can help it because your mind needs time to bring it in and relax. When you have that time to relax, you'll find yourself recharged the next day and you'll be able to hit your work harder than you would have if you just spent that day trying to hustle your way out of it. So how do you look at this through the frame of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You have to be aware that burnout is real and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you find yourself working more than 50 hours a week, burnout's coming. You can't avoid it, you can't hide it. And one of the things that they don't tell you with all these grinding videos is if they're actually working that schedule, it happens to them too. Also, scary part about this is a lot of people just work through burnout. They kill their effectiveness. They're maybe 50, 40, 30% effective all because they wanna keep the idea of the hustle going. If they just took a vacation, 
went to sleep, recharged, not only would they be three times more effective, that three, with that three times more effectiveness, they'd be more creative and start doing more work that matters in less time. So matter of fact, it's almost, it's crazy because they'd be far more effective and they'd have less work so they wouldn't experience burnout. So it would stop the cycle if they just took a break. Step one, pick one day a week, call it your recharge day. Turn your phone off and pick a TV show, pick a couple books, have a couple friends, whatever you wanna do, grill, whatever you wanna do. Just stay away from work for that whole day and make it a mission to not think about it. The interesting thing about your brain is if you stood by that for two to three weeks, you'll eventually find yourself not thinking about work on that day. It'll be great. Trust me. Second thing is schedule your next vacation now, especially if it's months off. Schedule that summer vacation now if it's the winter. Schedule that winter vacation now if it's the summer. Schedule that trip to Boston to see the foliage in, in March. Schedule that time to DC to see the cherry blossoms in October. What you're going to do is you're giving yourself the break in advance so you've already paid for it. It's a sunk cost, you're in, you're ready to go. And then also, you'll give your mind something to look forward to. It's a nice little thing to say, hey, you know, I'm going to go see uh, the Super Bowl in six months. It's gonna be real fun. I got all my friends, I got the hotel room, it's, it's great. So when things are going wrong and work or in the house or whatever, you have your vacation. It's already set up and you're not gonna burn yourself out because it's, it's such a cadence where even if you're close to it, you're already on the way out. Direction, tell people, like, look, set up your rules of conduct that you're not going to work yourself to death. The thing is, most people don't want you to. If you say you need a break every, once every three months, that seems reasonable. Take a long weekend. It's not ridiculous to take a three-day weekend once every three months. So be aware that you need breaks and burnout's happening and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Execute on making your breaks and taking them early and consistently and if you can often and directionally set goals like figure out what's actually going on you probably can take a break and it's not ridiculous and if you can't you probably should either leave that job or have these goals more clearly defined burnout's going to happen and if you don't manage it it's going to happen more often and faster than you think the goal is work with impact not work for the sake of work if you look in the description box you'll find a couple of books that help me dive deep into emotional intelligence. They've had exercises, research, and deep dives that help me bring these concepts to you. This isn't a one-way conversation. And in fact, it's not a two-way either. We're part of a community, the life as usual community. And as leaders, especially creative leaders, emotional intelligence is something that we all need to get better at. We can reach out to each other through the comments section, through sharing this video, through liking it, and help each other talk about, build upon, and explore these concepts in these videos. Remember, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a student as well. Help me learn your perspective.